what makes a guitar tonally unstable. Wood and construction techniques. Trust your initial impression. It's your money. Hi, this is Rick from Dr. B's Guitars. This is my first long form video for this channel. Today I'd like to introduce a new concept, the concept of tone stability. You probably have a guitar that you've picked up and gone, man, every time I pick this up, it just plays so well. I get the sounds I want and I don't have to fight for it. That's tone stability. It's that magic combination of wood, construction techniques, amp, electronics, and the player that just make it a great experience for you and make it a guitar that you want to have and keep forever. We're going to talk more about these concepts later, but let's start by talking about what makes a guitar tonally unstable. There are things you should listen for when shopping for a guitar that'll help you find a guitar that's tonally stable. One of those is hot spots. If you find spots that are unnecessarily boomy or kind of dull and flat, that's a trouble sign. Another one might just be muddiness across the whole range. Arpeggiate a chord, play a chord high on the fretboard, low on the fretboard. Can you hear all the notes ring out or do they kind of just turn to mush once all the notes are ringing together? The other one is the dreaded ice pick, playing distorted sounds or high on the fretboard and those upper register sounds just are shrill and biting. Those are things to avoid. Trust your initial impression. If you can't dial it in in the store, you're probably not going to be able to dial it in in your home studio or out at the gig either. Tone stability is kind of a different concept from pitch stability or tuning stability. Those things have been talked to death and there's plenty of places you can get information about those. Tone stability is that thing that you often can't see in the store you get the guitar home and only after you've been playing it for a week or two you realize that you just can't quite get it dialed in and get what you're looking for from it. That's why it can be so problematic. It's hard to pick that out in a store in an artificial situation. Tuning and pitch stability is more about tuning techniques, the machines on the guitar, intonation, and other factors that have to do with whether your notes are true or not as opposed to the quality of the sound. So this brings us to the first two factors that we're gonna talk about, and that is wood and construction techniques. For centuries, instrument builders have been using woods that are tried and true to make the good quality instruments. Good straight grained wood for necks, a nice resonant wood for bodies. Those are things that have stood the test of time and there are reasons why people have selected the woods that they do to do that. And part of that is the natural resonance of the wood and the fact that it behaves better from a tone standpoint. I would stick with a reputable brand. Most brands have various price points. You want to decide what you're capable of spending and then research the guitars that different brands have in that price range to find something that you think might be workable for you. The next thing is electronics. There are two basic styles of pickups that are used most of the time in electric guitars, and that is single coils and humbucker pickups. There are other variations on that, but almost everything is either single coil or humbuckers. And so you wanna decide, They're, they have distinctive different sounds you want to decide what you like, and again, you want to go toward those characteristics when you're shopping for a guitar. When we talk about electronics, I think you have to be careful. People will say, oh boy, it's an inexpensive guitar and it doesn't sound great now, but just put a set of good pickups in it and wow. Don't count on pickups to solve all of your ills. You might be very disappointed. Don't overlook some of the things we've already talked about, hot spots, ice pick sound, muddiness. Some of those things are not just going to be magically cured because you put a better set of pickups in a guitar. You want to make sure that you read reviews and try to learn from the language that's used in the review. Is this an actual user using this guitar or is this someone paid to evaluate it? If it's a user, do they actually play this guitar and do they prefer this guitar? Those are very strong recommendations. Sometimes you can pick up specific things to either watch for or that are just Achilles heel problems with certain brands of guitar. Be again selective about what you read. Stick with mainstream. There's a reason why there are Stratocasters and Les Pauls in almost everybody's hands and you see very few shark shaped or assault rifle shaped guitars out there. It just is my opinion 
that the more you get into these odd designs and the more you're begging the likelihood of that odd resonance that doesn't make them tonally stable. It may make you look awesome because you're playing this really cool hatchet guitar or whatever. Awesome should describe your sound and your technique, not just your look. <laughs> Lastly, it's your money. Go play a bunch of guitars. Don't let the salespeople at the store discourage you from trying out a variety of models or even several of the same model. Play the pink one. Even if the pink one's gonna get you laughed off stage, you wanna compare its tone with the one you'd really like to buy. Borrow a friend's guitar. Take it home, get it in your own environment where you can relax a little bit. So once again, the concept is tone stability. It's that guitar that when you pick it up and play it, it plays well in almost every situation. That's what you're looking for. It's a combination of factors, wood, electronics, construction technique, amplifier, and your own fingers. Tone is in the fingers. So you want to look for those things. You want to be careful when you're selecting a guitar. I would stick more with mainstream products. I would research brands. I would read a lot of reviews and see what the good and the bad is about different guitars. Don't just go in and say, oh man, that is the color I was looking for. That's my guitar. If you play three of them, that might not be your guitar. It's worth trying several out and it's your hard earned money that's going into it. I hope I've given you some things to think about here from the standpoint of guitar selection, but also the concept of tone stability. This is Rick from Dr. B's Guitars. Please like and subscribe and play on.